In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Git to create a remote repository from your local repo when you're creating a new remote project for the first time. In the upper left corner, I have my VS Code editor. I also have GitHub homepage open in Chrome. Make sure that you're logged in into your GitHub account. And at the bottom here, I have my command line. And as you can see here, I also navigated to my C drive. By the way, you can do this from VS Code terminal as well, but this is just the way I have it set up. Now let's go ahead and create our project folder on the C drive and call it YouTube. Let's go and navigate into YouTube. So now we're in C YouTube folder. And this is the project folder we're gonna to push to GitHub into our new repository with some files in it. Now in VS Code Editor, go to open folder and find the folder that we just created on the C drive. Go ahead and click on the select folder button. This will open our project in VS Code. Now I'm going to create a new file for our project, which we will commit to our remote repository on GitHub. I'm going to name this file git.txt. So it's a simple text file. Let's go ahead and type some content and just make sure that you save this file on your hard drive. Now on the command line, let's make sure that we are in C YouTube folder and type git init. This will initialize our local repository. Hit enter. As you can see, we have successfully initialized an empty Git repository. Now, after doing this, if you go to your YouTube folder on C drive, you'll see a new directory, .git. It's a hidden folder. You can go in there and you'll see that Git created a bunch of files for us. Remember how we created the git.txt file in our previous step. In order to commit this file, we first have to stage our changes. Because we created this file from scratch, Git will think of it as a new file to be inserted into the repository. Before you commit any changes, you have to put them on stage. Go ahead and type git add dot and hit enter. This process is called staging. So basically it's gonna take all of our edited files or all of our newly added files and put them on Git stage. Git will automatically determine which files were changed. Now that our changes are staged, we're ready to do the commit. This is accomplished by doing the git commit dash m double quote message, double quote the message and hit enter. And here git will tell us all of the details about the files that were committed. Now let's go to the GitHub website and make sure that you're logged in and just go to the home page. Now we're gonna create a new repository and I'm gonna call this repo git. I'll click on the create repository button at the bottom. And here we have successfully created a new repo. Go ahead and copy and paste the link. Now we're gonna create a new branch. On the command line, go ahead and type git branch dash capital M. And here main is going to be the name of our branch. So go ahead and type enter. Now on the command line, go ahead and type git remote add origin and copy and paste the link for our repo and hit enter. Git remote add command with origin, which could be any other name, but origin is the standard, will link our local repo to our URL. It's important to do this step before we push any files to the repository. Now let's go ahead and push the files that we committed earlier for the first time. You're gonna use git push with dash u, which is important to do for the first time, origin main, and hit enter. Now after pushing your local branch with the u option, this local branch will be automatically linked with the remote branch. And from this point on, you can simply use git push without any arguments. Now if you go to the remote repo on GitHub, you will see that we have successfully submitted first commit and you will see hello there is the message content of the file that we have committed and pushed so from this point on this file actually exists in the remote repo now let's go ahead and change this file again just to see how the commits work i'm going to change this to new changes i'm going to go and save that now in the command line, I'm gonna type 
git add dot so we can stage our changed files go ahead and type git commit dash m double quote and enter some message now to push our staged changes all we have to do is type git push and hit enter and now if I refresh my github repo you will see the new changes is the new content for this file which means that it has been pushed successfully okay guys thanks for watching and hopefully this is helping someone out there